Uh, hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at uh, swapping out some direct wire ballast bypass LEDs. Um, so I've got some pretty old fluorescent lighting in my shop and I just want to swap these out to LEDs. So this is actually a pretty, pretty simple process to do. Um, it doesn't require much electrical skill at all. Uh, I'm going to try to do this point of view so that you can see exactly what I see when I'm doing this. Um, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is make sure that your power is off. Um, don't just turn the switch off. Make sure that you turn the power off at the breaker. Um, so all I did to take this out was I just squeezed it and this exposes your ballast. So I'm just gonna pop off this ballast cover here for a second. Um, and the first thing that I like to do is just take a little power meter pen and just make sure that there isn't anything hot. And we are off on everything, which is cool. Um, so the first thing that we want to do is identify where our incoming supply is. So in our particular instance here, just make sure you guys can see, uh, that would be the red and white wires here. The red wire is my hot, the white wire is the neutral. So I'm um, just gonna pop these out really quick. Take off these wire nuts here. Let's save these. Um, so basically with the ballast, bypass you just as the name implies you bypass the ballasts so you just need a hot and a neutral uh, going to each um, so I'm actually gonna just pop these out so all I did was spin okay I can think of no satisfying or mo no more satisfying thing than uh <laughs> breaking fluorescent light tubes so i hope you get to enjoy that pleasure also um so here's how this works uh these are called tombstones um that's just a, a term for what holds the bulb uh there's two prongs on either side so what we do when the ballast bypasses we're going to use one as our hot and one as our neutral um, so to start, I'm just gonna take a pair of wire cutters and just cut all of this excess wiring out right at the ballast. Okay, we are no longer using our ballast, so you can cut it right out as close as you can just for neatness sake. Okay, so this is an electronic shop, so we've got trash right there. So we're gonna set that aside for now. Um, so what we need to do is establish what side is gonna be our hot and what side is gonna be our neutral. So. Um, with the uh, new LED lights, they, you only have to supply power to one end. Um, so you just need to pick a prong and stick with it. So all I'm doing here is just fanning these out um, just so that I can get an idea of my supply. So, okay, so here's my supply coming in. I've got two tombstones that are bridged. So we just need to make sure. Okay, so let's let's do our hots here. So we want this to sort of end up right around there. So let's cut these down. Just double checking my length. Okay, we're gonna save these, set those off to the side here. All right, so let's make our right-hand side hot. So let's work on our hot supply here first. So on my tombstone here, I'm taking my right conductor. We're gonna trim this to about there. 
And we're gonna take our right conductor off of this guy. We are gonna trim him to right about there. And we are gonna take our right conductor off that guy, coming up with some random sense of neatness. Not that that's super crucial in this application, but neatness always counts. Okay, so these are our hots. All right, so what you can do quickly, and this looks like it's 18 gauge wire if I had to take a guess. I'm gonna take my catapult stripper. It is 18 gauge wire. Strip that down relatively, and that's about a half inch strip on there. Okay. So here are our hots. So we have three. So that's this tombstone, this tombstone, and this tombstone. Just confirming that our lefts are our neutrals. Okay. Um, so we're gonna take these. I'm gonna take my lineman's tool and just twist this like this. Okay, there's my hots. Take my stripper here. I'm gonna take my supply line. Let's see, 12 gauge, 12 gauge. Okay, we're gonna strip that. I'm gonna take a wire nut. And we're gonna put that, twist it in like that. I kind of absolutely hate wire nuts, but for this application, it's okay. Um, okay, so now, so these are our hot lines. These are all spliced. We are gonna take our neutral now, and we want that to end up sort of right there. And this guy, hands sort of right there. And this guy, sort of right there. All right. Okay. Again. 12 gauge. I just grabbed another color wire nut just for the sake of differentiation. Not super imperative. Okay. And there we go. So we tied all of our neutrals, we tied all of our hots. Let's see if it works. So, um,. gonna open these guys up. So these are a uh, togled toggle. I don't know how you say that. I just got these at Home Depot. They're 20 they're 20 bucks for a two pack. Um, so as I said before, uh, what you want to make sure or what's something that it'll tell you is that one end is powered. Um, so if we're looking at this, see how it says AC input powered end. Um, so actually, you know what we need to do that I did not do is we need to cut all this excess wire. I forgot about that. So on the end here, um, we're not using this. So again, you can just cut this all out because only one end is powered. So that's just taking up room in your fixture. Boom, okay. Into the garbage you go. Um, so we're just gonna put this tube in, making sure that our powered end is going where our power is. And they have these little plastic caps here. Let's take that off. Okay, line that up just like that. Okay, there's one. And here is the other one. So again, we're just confirming there's our powered end. Throwing our little plastic guys away. I apologize for the messy shop. Okay, and just for proof of concept, we're just gonna run, uh, we're just gonna install two of these. So um, let's turn the power back on and see if it works.
Oh yeah. So I did this fixture already. And here's our other fixture. So we can see that everything works. All right, if anybody has any questions, please just drop a comment below. And uh, thanks for stopping by. I hope everybody has a great day.